Hey y'all, welcome back to Let's Play East One. Last time, we started a Darm Tower and got halfway through, and this time we shall finish up the rest of Darm Tower. This is my second attempt at this recording, because the first one came out horrible. Not in terms of audio commentary or anything, but in terms of uh, video quality, I guess. And I do not think anyone wants to see a video of horrible quality. Anyway, first thing you want to do is head back down to floor 11 and speak to Ludagema. I will cut off to that. Alright, so back on floor 10. For those of you who don't remember, the way you get to Luda is to go... Right up here. There are two sections of floor 11, I guess, if that makes sense. So you want to go right over here, and you should find Luda right in here. The girl is safe? Oh, thank goodness. It's really quite odd. I've never met that girl before. Yet I'm absolutely terrified for her. Wait, is that... Why do you have the Book of Gimma? That's my family's ancestral album. I lost it when I was a little boy, and I have always wondered where it may have gone to. Back then, my father told me something. He said that the ones who found all six books of each would be granted the power to bring peace to Asteria. At all. This is another ancient heirloom passed down by my family, and I'd like for you to have it. Blue amulet has been given to Adol. My leg is a bit worse than I'd previously thought. I think I'll stay here, in safety, and rest for a little bit longer. I'll be fine. You have the right to go, right? Don't you worry about me. Once my legs stop throbbing, I'll make my way out of here. All right, back on mirror floor. Just follow the original pattern. Right down here. I think it's this one. Yes, good. First try. Floor 15, here we are. So... Now what you want to do is head to floor 17. We're now more than halfway done with the dungeon. So in this room, you're going to see these scorpions. Go to your items and equip this mirror and press the button you have assigned to the equip item. You'll thank me. Up here, if you do not have a heal potion, there is a heal potion in this chest. However, I have a heal potion I don't really think I'm going to need, need it at all. So... We're going to head up a little bit more. Floor 18, there is an item on the stunt floor you're going to need to find. I believe it is... Not... No, I missed it. Right up here? Okay. It is, I believe, it's this way. It's definitely this way. No. It's actually not on this floor, okay. I'm in the wrong place. I'm thinking this wrong. That's where you're going to want to go next. You want to be on floor 19 for this. That's all I can tell you. You want to make sure when you head up the stairs it says floor 19, not floor 20. in here and there should be make sure you have the uh, blue gel equipped yeah, I do not and then the battle armor should have been obtained cool go ahead and equip that 
Yeah, this is the most powerful armor in the game, for now, anyway. So head back down, and then go through the other staircase. Alright, so... Head in here. Now just try to avoid these guys and get the flame sword. Most powerful sword in the game. So you head over this way, I believe. Yeah, this way's fine. So, we are getting really close. This room is the last major puzzle of the game. So this puzzle, you go this way, down here, through this mirror, and I believe you go left. I believe I was correct. Since we will not have any more use for anything else from this point forward, go ahead and use your heal potion if you want to. I'm going to recommend you save here. This boss is a pretty easy boss. And it might start out a little bit difficult and confusing on how to do it. It only gets easier the more damage you do to it, yeah? So now that we have uh, th three of them, that leaves us with cool. Yeah, just this boss is pretty easy. I can't say what about what's to come, though. All right. Cool. First thing you need to do. I know we just got all this stuff. Equip your silver equipment. Floor 25. Save. Save. Now, I want to say something before we start this boss. This boss is going to be a pain in the ass. I do not say that lightly. This boss is really hard. So just be prepared. Well now, you must be the swordsman dear Rhea spoke of. Your efforts to acquire the Books of East have been truly impressive. I salute you. But in unlocking the secrets containing therein, you have brought my plan full circle. Upon your death here today, the name of Dark Fact shall be seared into the pages of history. When the six books are gathered, a great power shall be revealed, but sadly, you are not fated to see it. My number one advice. Learn where he is going to go. Predict Dark Fact. That is how you beat him. Not like that, though. If the, if the pile falls below, you lose the game automatically. Uh, I'm going to cut to the successful attempt. Alright. Alright. 
Woo. Got him there. Don't want to hit him there. Got him there. Twice. Hit him there. Hit him there. Hit him there. Didn't want to hit him there. Game over. Oh, wait. Whoa. Second try. I think. <laughs> wow. That wasn't too bad at all. Okay. Adolf found the last book of East in the folds of Dark Facts Cape. The book of East has been obtained. So, go ahead. Equip the monocle. And equip the book of East. Volume 6, The Book of Fact. Suddenly, in the new light of the rising sun, his siege stopped. Wherefore it happened, no one knows, even now. But there was a rejoicing, but there was rejoicing, for it meant the end of our suffering. To ensure that he should never return, we have sealed away the power of ease. It lies within the six books, and it will be given to one who collects them all, so that he may become a guide and lead it to us to peace. But heed, you who read these words, those who use the power of de demons shall one day be consumed by them. The prosperity held within it is a lie. It is he who leads the shape the form of evil. All that is, jewel and adam and alike, is a treasure of East, as given us by our meaningful, merciful gods, goddesses. When Adol held all six books, a powerful white light filled his vision, and a great feeling of sincerity overtook him. The morning sun began to rise, gradually the sky brightened, and the tower's outline began to shimmer like a mirage, as if freed from captivity. Birds began to sing, and the demons dissolved into air. Adol felt the weight of a long journey lift from his heart. The world was at peace. It was as though the historic bounds of bounty of East had been laid before him to fill his eyes and soul. As the things written in the book vanished, one by one, the shapes of the goddesses began to materialize. Though their faces were unfamiliar, Adol felt, in some way, that he had always known them. As he looked down upon the earth, he could see Jebus' house, quiet and humble. He wondered if Fina's memory had come back. He decided that when he returned, he would immediately tell her of what he had seen. A dazzling light seemingly from all sides at once bathed Adol in radiance. He felt certain it must be wishing him peace and good fortune. And so, Adol began a new journey. Floating Island. Alright, so, um, where to begin here? Uh, I think this attempt at, the seventh attempt at trying Let's Plays went really well. Really well. This was probably the most fun I've had with it yet. Um, this is for those of you who know, don't know, and I probably like zero of you who do know. Um, well, I mean, a few of you know. This is, I have attempted many times in the past to do Let's Plays, and I think all of them have ended up garbage. I think this was definitely my best attempt. Um, this is, this is really cool. Um, so, I have completed a few projects in the past. I had three on my first YouTube channel, but all of which I had co-commentary for the whole time. It was me with someone else. I could not function on my own, and I still feel like that kind of works here as well um 
but I feel like I did much better this time than I had in the past. I feel like I still am a bit awkward when I'm doing this by myself, but I mean, I'm just trying to work this out. I think the more I do it, the better I'll get. And that was probably my problem in the past, was that I just thought having code commentary would make it good. Really, it doesn't. So, with that being said, by completing the game, you should unlock time trial mode and nightmare mode. Um, I am not going to do either of those here, because time trial is just the game where you have to beat it as quickly as possible, and nightmare mode is just me cussing a bunch, and I don't think you want any of that, because I don't think that is entertaining, and I don't think that kind of humor is funny, so I'm not going to attempt any of that at all. Another thing I want to bring up is, at the end of episode 5, I, uh, did have that weird clip with, like, Adolf fighting the, like, what is it, a, uh, grasshopper boss? That is from the East anime. I will be linking a playlist to that in the description. I recommend checking it out. Up to episode 7, anyway. Um, I like it, though some people don't. I recommend just giving it a shot. So, next for the channel, um, I should have something coming out within the next few weeks. Not gonna say what, though it's probably pretty obvious. I will see you guys then. to Dom Tower has been cut off. What should we do to stop this road? His bravery presents an interesting challenge. Let's see how far this Adol character can go. Very well then, sir.